modern architecture and you know classical architecture should be able to blend absolutely seamlessly. When my father was first asked about it, he didn't tell anybody except my mother. And he made, over the course of a, an entire year, a number of round trips to Paris secretly just to walk around the Louvre to really understand not only the museum, but also its entire surroundings. What we were trying to show was that our project was really inspired by all of Paris. Through it, and you see the facades of the palace, there will be no distortion in the color. Now today we're going to talk about something that's become perhaps as iconic as the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower, of course, was built to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution. You're going to talk about something that was built to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the French Revolution, the Louvre Pyramid. Exactly. So the Louvre Pyramid was completed in 1989 to mark the bicentennial of the French Revolution of 1789. It was designed by Chinese-American architect I.M. Pei and commissioned by the then French president, uh, François Mitterrand. I think the entrance to a great museum has to be appropriate. I.M. Pei, Bu Yutming, the primary designer of the Louvre Pyramid, was born in Guangzhou, China in 1917. At the age of 16, he set off his career as an architect by studying architecture in the United States. He received a bachelor degree in architecture from Massachusetts Institute of Technology six years after in 1940. And it's gone, the famous Louvre Pyramid. Thanks to the street artist J.R., the glass structure has been transformed and turned into a sort of optical illusion. Mm -hmm. 